What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I designed and created my own tie-dye shirt. I love it. I love, love, love it. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Millie and I had a lot of fun creating these shirts. They are different colors, but without further ado, let's get into the video. We picked up our tie-dye kit from Michaels. They do have a drive-up pickup option right now because we're all in quarantine, staying home, and being safe. If you head over to their website, you'll see all these other options for tie-dye kits. There's also a 40% coupon on their website, so don't forget to use that. We decided to go with this purple, green, and blue tie-dye kit. Before you start this project, make sure you lie something down on the surface, we just uh, use a garbage bag. Um, I just can't picture doing this inside the house and getting tie-dye all over the place. I do appreciate that the caps came colored and there were rubber bands in there, extra powder, and of course, gloves. We also picked up our t-shirts from there. The first shirt that I'm going to work on is Blazy shirt. And with this one, I am just going to do this accordion fold, fold, fold. The tricky part for me in these tie-dye shirts was getting the first and second rubber band on. But once you get that on, the rest is um, the rest is easy. I think it's because I was trying to hold it together and, and put the first two rubber bands on. But I ended up using the rubber bands I had at home. I wanted to save the Michaels rubber bands for the bigger shirts. And here I am just going to place my rubber bands to secure, um, to make sure it stays folded. That's the whole purpose of these rubber bands. There's going to be a link down below of Millie's channel. You guys can head over there to see how her shirt came out because with this one, Blazer's shirt that I'm doing right now, I spaced out the rubber bands a lot more than Millie did and they do come out uh, a little different. So be sure to check out that link. Her channel will be down below. This is the last rubber band going on Blazy shirt and I'm just going to set that aside. The next shirt we are working on is my shirt. This one I'm just going to pinch the middle and create this swirl effect, which looked easier online than actually doing it. So I basically swirled it as much as I could and then ended up folding, folding all the sides in. I tried to make it work and then of course, the tricky part again was placing the first two rubber bands. I tried to place the rubber bands in a in like a certain design so when we're tie dyeing, we could just spray sections. At the top of the screen, Millie is working on Drake's shirt, so she basically did the smaller version of what I'm doing. And the last shirt we are working on is Sydney's shirt. We wanted to be a little more creative, think outside of the box for this one. And I decided to crinkle up one corner, Millie crinkled up the other corner and we met in the middle and then just rubber band it all together. The next thing you want to do is wet your t-shirts. We just decided to fill this bin up with water and dunked all the shirts in there. You can run yours under um, the sink or whatever you need to do just to get your t-shirt wet. Then we squeezed out all the extra water, making sure not to move or disturb the rubber bands too much because we were using them as a template. So all Millie is doing here is tie-dyeing every other triangle. 
you can dilute your um, dye squeegee bottle by taking out some of the pow powder and adding more water so it'll give you a more pastel blue but we just decided to use what was in the squeegee bottle blaze's shirt that i'm working on to the left i just decided to do the different shades of green and leave parts of it white With Drake's shirt, we decided to do green and blue, so I'm doing every other triangle green, and then we're going to come in with the blue afterwards. So when you're done with the top part, you flip your shirts over, like I'm doing now, and then you do the same on the other side. Next, we are going to just wrap our shirts up in some plastic wrap. We're gonna wrap them nice and tight and put them to the side. Last but not least is my favorite shirt. My favorite because it was a freestyle type shirt. We just did whatever we wanted to do with this shirt. I also forgot to mention, make sure you stick the squeezy bottle into the shirt and squeeze to make sure the color gets in there because the inside of the shirt is solid white. So we wanna make sure some color gets in there. Then you wanna wrap it up and put it to the side for 24 hours. The next day, So now we are going to unwrap all of our shirts and rinse each of them individually until the water runs clear. Do not mix your shirts together. Just make sure you're taking the time to rinse them separately. After you rinse your shirts out, go ahead and throw it in the washing machine. I didn't add any detergent. I just kind of ran a speed wash. The like colors I threw together the other ones that had their own individual color, I washed them by themselves and then dried it in low heat. And this is what Sydney's shirt came out to look like. He absolutely loved it and I actually wanted it for myself. So this one was the blues with the purple and the greens and we just kind of did our own thing with it. I'm really, really glad he liked his. And then my shirt is the one that you see me wearing in this video. With Drake and Blazy's shirt, you can see the different designs on their shirt. Drake's was the swirl, Blaze was the folded accordion. I thought their shirts came out so cute and I'm glad they loved it. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed to our channel. Bye. Or my channel, our channel. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, which on your favorite shirt is and your favorite show. See you in the next video. Bye. See you in the next video. Go, go, go.